Okay, this video I'm just going to show you what stuff you need to um, make a DIY dry canner. But um, for the purpose of this video, this one's going to be a dry jar sealer or canner, shall I say? Just be using jars on this one. All right, this is an advanced uh, vacuum sealer, and it has the vacuum seal port right here. Now this does the bags as well as um, seal. Now I move over into light a bit more. Now I want to show you what I use to put into the uh, machine. Let's try and get a focus on that. Try and get it down where I can get a focus. Okay, I use an adapter, 4.5 millimeter thread barb. Now that is here. And for the purpose of this one, I cut a slot in the end of it. Okay, but still enough to get a seal. Now the reason I've done that is because in the machine there's a ball bearing. And the ball bearing will be pushed against the end. If the ball bearing doesn't retract enough, the vacuum will block the end and slows the process down. So this will fit right in here. Now when I actually use the machine, if it doesn't push in tight, you'll have to hold it. Now, it goes in fairly tight, but I found that if I hold it, I get a much better seal. As, um, as you'll find out in the videos as I go along. Okay. Now, the end of this goes on to a check valve, which I'll show you. Okay, the check valve is right here. Now this check valve has got an arrow, and the arrow is pointing in. Now normally, in a flow of water, that'll go the other way around, but because I'm sucking now, it's going to go that way, and then the pressure cannot come back this way. It locks. It's like a locking valve. It's like a one-way valve. Now, from there, I have the lid to the underwater filtration system. Now, on that lid, um, there was a valve on that side to turn the flow on and off uh, with a push fitting. Now, on the other side, I needed to either block it off um, and to somehow release the pressure. So I found a ball valve that I had that came with the underwater sink unit. So all I do is when I got it on, I lock the ball valve, charge the system, suck the air out, and I release. And the pressure comes out here. Now, this is the other half, which is the underwater part that holds the filter. So as I've got the camera in my hand, I cannot screw it on, but as you can see, that will go on that. And in the video, as you see, that will screw up tight, and that's the way we go. So we suck the air out, lock the ball valve, suck the air out, and release the pressure. Simple as that. The um, suction. And there's the slot. Right, I'll push that in now, nice and tight, extended seal time and seal. And just wait for the machine to kick in. Right, I'm not sure that's sealed properly, but I'll just see by the air. Should hear some air gush out if it did. Right, it didn't go properly. Now, the one problem I found with this, it's not perfect, I have to hold this in to get the pressure. So I'll do it one more time. This time it'll work. Now that should have worked. I'll show you for the first time, ready? I'll release the air. There we go, I'll unscrew it. Now that should have been enough to seal it. But, if you're really not sure about it, we'll give it two goes. There we go. Now as I touch that, that did actually just pop down as I touched it in there. But I'll release that and show you the uh, pressure on it. 
So that popped up. Now I'm going to do it again. Finger tight. Back in there. Screw that back up. Lock it. Now I'm going to do it twice just to make sure I'm going to reset the machine. And I'm going to hold that in there to make sure I get a good seal. Wait for the machine to kick in. We'll do it once. Now I'm going to pull this out. And I pulled it out, and that check valve should be working. And here we go, release of air. Unscrew that. Pull that out, and that is down all nicely. I'm going to open this up now. There we go. It worked the first time, but doing it twice is foolproof. <laughs> there you go. Thanks for watching.